And one of the things that you also uh, uh, say in your book that how you perceive things is how right. we perceive things. So I just want you to elaborate on that for me. Sure, sure. How can people have that change in perception and, and understand that there's really nothing missing from their lives? Mm -hmm. That's really what we're talking about. Yes. And, and what I want to say about that is I think people tend to look at you know, how, how am I living right now compared to other people? Mm -hmm. And that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Other people appear to be happy. Other people, you know, they may have the Lexus and the house with the three-car garage and, you know, belong to all the most exclusive clubs, but are they happy? Mm -hmm. Are they really happy in their lives? Now, you can take someone else who is living a much simpler life, who has all the happiness in the world. Mm -hmm. Which one would you choose? Now, again, you have celebrities that wish they weren't celebrities anymore. We have people who are rich that wish for simpler lives because they don't have as much financial you know, conversation on their minds. We have people who you know, have all the publicity in the world, seem to have everything going for them, and yet they're never happy. So the question is, what's really missing from your life? And my answer is, there's nothing missing from your life. Everything that's in your life is by design. Mm -hmm. And it's by design because it's, it's absolutely catered for you. So everything you have right now is structured there to teach you something about yourself, about someone or something else, and ha about how to live a larger life, have a larger perspective, and to learn more about your relationship, your personal relationship with God. Basically, everything that's in your life reflects back to you how you think on the inside. Mm -hmm. So if, you're, if your thoughts are mostly based in fear, when you look around you, everything you're going to see is fear results. Yes. Yes. That's all you can see yes. when your life is the, it's based on God. The center of your life is God. Mm -hmm. All you see is opportunity. Mm -hmm. All you see is the teaching. And all you see is you know, a chance to really express that God self through everything that you do, that peace that you have. You, you know how your life is. You don't need anything or anyone else to validate that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing missing from your life. Mm -hmm. It seems like it. It seems like if I only had more money, then I'd be happy, right? If I only had that car, then I would be happy. Uh -huh. Then I can start living. Then I can go out and do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. you know, if I only had that extra money, then I can go pursue my dream. Mm -hmm. That stuff usually doesn't come because it's not necessarily what you need to do the thing you want to do. Mm -hmm. So the thing that you think is missing isn't what you need anyway. Because then what happens when you get it? Yeah. You're still stuck in the same place. Well, I got the car, but, uh, you know, once I get the house, I got the house. Well, uh, once I get the extra money, mm -hmm. oh, well, after the baby's born, well, after, you know, there, there's, a, a, there's always something else you think you need. But there's truly nothing else you need. There's nothing missing from your life. Mm -hmm. Nothing missing for you to be happy. Mm -hmm. Happiness is a choice. It's a choice right now that you can make. Now, there's two different types of happiness, right? Mm -hmm. There's the temporary happiness that says, wow, I, I can afford the Lexus. Let me go get it. You go get the Lexus. You're driving around for two weeks. Now, your friends and family have seen you in it. Now, you're a star. But two weeks later, it's normal. It's just another car. Mm -hmm. It's another bill. It's another thing to put gas into, another thing you have to insure. Where's your happiness now? Yeah. But when your happiness comes from, you know what? I choose to be happy. I choose to accept the, the circumstances of my life. I know they're there for a reason. And I have faith that it's leading me somewhere that's going to benefit me and everyone else in the long run. So I'm happy right now. Mm -hmm. When you bring that to all of your situations, you're a powerful person. Yes. And people will see it. It will just, it'll, it'll just glow off of you. You radiate that happiness. Yes. And people will be attracted to you because they want some of that. They want to understand, why are, I went through the same thing you just went through. Why are you happy? Mm -hmm. And why am I crying every night? Mm -hmm. You have a change of perspective. So it's the way you see things. Absolutely. It's the way you see things. Absolutely. What's the center of your life? Is it God or is it things. you? Is it your things? Mm -hmm. Is it pleasing other people? Mm -hmm. What is it? That's the difference.